which uh, eventually gets one of the calls, one of the, hey, can you make me something? Can you do this? Can you do that? It shouldn't be a big deal. You know, it'll just take you a couple minutes. Um, I just got one of those calls and it's an offer I can't refuse. My father-in-law is a professional chef and he would like a pizza peel. He got some new fangled cast iron pizza stone for, for the house and um, he would like a wood pizza peel. So what I thought I would do is since I love my wife and I want her to be happy, therefore he has to be happy, sort of, um, I would go down to one of the uh, one of the architectural salvage places here in Seattle and pick up some some reclaimed wood flooring, some hopefully some quarter sawn oak um, and some nice clear maple, and then I'll go ahead and and uh, put on the joiner, bring it down to about a little less than half an inch, true up the edges, put it together with some tight bond three. Uh, this one I'm going to do is going to have uh, an 8 inch handle on it and it's going to be 16 by 18 with some curves on it and I'm going to ease that outside edge. Uh, you could do it with a 4 foot handle instead of the 8 inch but this is what he wants. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, this video should document that process. I would like to tell you that I have enough uh, reclaimed flooring already that, that I bought it at the architectural salvage place to do this without having to go spend any money. But in truth, I don't have enough. I have a little bit, I just don't have enough. So this this should take care of his want and need and uh, make everyone happy. All right. I buy so much of my material here. The other salvage place in town that gets most of my money. One of the things about getting about getting a reclaimed wood is, you know, you get it in in various lengths and various thicknesses. So you're gonna have to cut it down. You're gonna have to plane it. But before you do any of that, <laughs> you have to go through it and make sure there are no nails, no staples, no nothing. You will destroy a blade, um, cause kickback, any number of things. Now, I am lucky enough um, that I have a saw stop in the shop, and I can tell you from firsthand experience that using um, treated wood or wood directly from a home center or something with a high moisture content will trip the blade. And when that happens, it's a huge high pucker factor. The other issue is if there's any sort of metal, not only do you ruin a blade, you also drop the brake. And when all that happens, it a gazillion miles an hour as you're feeding stuff, stuff through. Um, your your butt takes your, your pants and just pulls it up in there because um, it, it's so effing scary. Um, you get to keep all your fingers, but you, you may need to clean up after yourself a little. Anyway, um, <laughs> I digress. Make sure you check all of your reclaimed wood really, really well uh, for both moisture and for any bits of metal. sections of the pizza peel would have been a little bit easier if I would have had a crosscut sled. I currently just have the anchor gauge. I sold my previous sled that fit my previous saw with that saw and so it's one of the projects I'm going to make here in the shop is a uh, is a new crosscut sled for the saw stop. All right so here's the basic layout. Um, we're going to go again uh, 18 by 16 with an 8 inch handle. I'll round it up. I'll form all this bevel all the edges um, and uh, I've alternated oak, maple, oak, maple, oak, maple 
and ease all this with a hand plane, glue it all together, and there we go. All right. So all done, um, three afternoons after work or three evenings after work because I got a real J-O-B. And my father-in-law's pizza pill is finally done. Um, I got a single coat of the Mahoney's uh, heat treated and filtered walnut oil on it. Give it a nice uh, bit of protective shine. Um, once this dries, I'll get another coat on it and then give it a coat of wax before I give it to him. Um, who knows what's gonna happen after that. But I think it turned out really nice. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I hope to see it in use and hanging in his house for, for years. Um, you can see that it's beveled down, again, from a little over half an inch all the way down to nothing. Um, I got to use the joiner's bench. I got to use my hand planes, saw stop, my, uh, my bandsaw. As a, uh, as a child of both Roy and Norm, it's nice when I can use both power tools and hand tools. And uh, I think... I think this turned out really well, and in fact, I can say with, with no ego whatsoever that this is the finest pizza peel I have ever made. I can also say it's the only pizza peel I've ever made. So there we go. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm real happy with how this turned out. I'm happy with the eight inch handle and the two hands. Yeah, again, I, uh, I hope to see it in use. I hope to eat pizza off of it. All right.